Hey everyone, Derek here with a quick news update on the continuing situation with Epic Games and them getting kicked off the Apple App Store because of a new update that they had for both the iPhone and Android versions of the game that allowed users to pay Epic directly for in-app purchases instead of using the officially sanctioned system for both platforms. In response, Apple was very quick to kick them off the App Store and then Epic filed a lawsuit against Apple in return. Now what about the Google Play Store? Well, Google has put out a statement regarding this whole situation and this is being reported on by Verge. Now although the Play Store's rules are somewhat more lax than Apple's when it comes to in-app purchases, Google does draw the line at games. As pointed out by Verge, developers offering products within a game downloaded on Google Play or providing access to game content must use Google Play in-app billing as the method of payment. Google's system takes a 30% cut, just the same as Apple's. So this new update obviously violates it in the same way as Apple. So Google put out a statement. The open Android ecosystem lets developers distribute apps through multiple app stores. For game developers who choose to use the Play Store, we have consistent policies that are fair to developers and keep the store safe for users. While Fortnite remains available on Android, we can no longer make it available on Play because it violates our policies. However, we welcome the opportunity to continue our discussions with Epic and bring Fortnite back to Google Play. And that is the key thing here. You can still install Fortnite on Android. Epic is already pointing visitors to its website where they can either download Fortnite through the Epic Games app or via the Samsung Galaxy Store or on Samsung devices. So unlike Apple, it's still possible to install the game if you haven't already done so. And yeah, it's basically just the same situation that they have with Apple, just the fact that Google Play can't completely ban Fortnite off of Android phones or tablets. There's other ways to get around that, although they could potentially be less safe. That said, Epic Games is still pointing towards people towards EpicGames.com and the Samsung Galaxy Store, so obviously they have no issue with this, they're just saying circumnavigate it. And really, it just seems like this whole thing is going to be kind of insane. We'll see if Epic's Gambit pays off, we'll see if losing Fortnite is a big deal for Google Play and the App Store. We'll just have to find out. But yeah, this definitely seems to be an all-out brawl between the three and we'll just have to find out how it all goes down. But yeah, let us know what you think in the comments below and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for more on this situation and other things gaming as well. Until next time, bye.